Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install VMware Player Virtual Machine in your Ubuntu operating system. VMware Player, you can use it for uh, playing or using or running different operating system on your Ubuntu host machine. For example, if you want to uh, use Windows 7 or if you want to use Android OS on your Ubuntu operating system, by using VMware Player you can install and run these two operating system or uh, any other operating system if you have uh, its uh, installation in your virtual machine which is your v v vmware player so let's see how we can install it so open your search in the browser search engine in the browser and write vmware player and this will open vmware links in here so just click the first link which you see on the search option and in here we want to go to the download section so just click this downloads tab and in here search for the option called VMware player there are several number of products from VMware but what we are looking for is called VMware player so just click this download product and this will present you different option vmware player for windows vmware player for 32-bit operating system and vmware player for 64-bit operating system so right now i have 32-bit ubuntu operating system so i will just download this one but according to your uh, system in Linux you can also choose 64-bit file from here if you have 64-bit Ubuntu operating system okay so just click this download and I have already downloaded this VMware plus file so I'm not going to click this but download this file and once your file is downloaded I will show you the requirement of uh, building VMware player so just open your terminal and in here if you haven't already installed build essential then just give this command sudo apt minus get install build essential this is uh, the build essential library which uh, is used for to build the programs like C++ or Java or uh, other languages which build essential supports okay so just give sudo apt minus get install build essential and press enter and it will ask you if you want to really install build essential i will say y and press enter and build essential will be installed okay so once this build essential is installed then what you need to do is just let's see i have uh, vmware file in my downloads so this is the vmware player file right so my lab vmware installation bundle is in my downloads folder okay and in the meantime my build essential library is installed so why what i will do is i will clear and then I will give the command to execute this bundle VMware bundle in which is in my downloads folder right so I will give this command sudo bash and the path to the VMware player so it's in download so I have given the relative path to download and this is my VMware player and star indicates that any extension of vmware player will be detected in the download folder and it will be executed so by default it this file will be executed so just give this command and press enter and it will ask for your password if you are not already have the permission and now the installation will start
okay so this is the installer which will start when you give that command and now just accept the agreement if you agree with the agreement of VMware player and click next once again accept next and it will ask you would you like to check for the product update if you want product update say yes and click next and once again next and it will say enter your license key next and product is ready to be installed so click install And once you see this message installation was successful, that means your installation is complete, then close this installer and go to this uh, left top icon, which is search your computer. And in here, just search for VMware player, which is this one. And just click VMware player from here, which will open your VMware player. this is your VMware player and now you are ready to install any other operating system in your VMware player for the first time when you install this VMware player this message will be shown that uh, more uh, update updated version is available so if you want to use or you want more updated version then you can see get more information but generally i just skip this version or i say remind me later so for now i will click this remind me later button and now you are ready to install any other operating system like android or windows or any other operating system in your ubuntu operating system you just need to click this create a new virtual machine and now you just need to give the physical drive or your ISO file or any other uh, type of installation and then you will be able to install the other operating system like the normal operating system in your Ubuntu operating system. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.